What is up guys, Joe here back with another City of Tweak and today we're actually going to be covering Polis and this is from the developer A3 Tweaks. Now you can find this in the Big Boss repo for 99 cents and I find this very useful because what it does, it gives you control to your control center and allows you to fully customize your quick launcher for apps and actions. So what that means is if I lift up, you see down here at the bottom, I now have different applications or different toggles on here. I still have my flashlight, my clock application uh, toggle there, and also the calculator, the camera, and then I've also added Spotify and TweetBot. Now, if I go back to the calculator here, you will notice if I tap on that, it's not your regular calculator application because I've actually added another application that's another calculator. And then I simply just put the icon to be a calculator. So I think that is pretty neat. Uh, let's go ahead and open up another thing. Got Spotify here. So you can add different applications. And yes, I do listen to Ellie Golding. Don't hate, because she is awesome and she's beautiful. And right down here we have TweetBot. So you see that it opens up to uh, whatever application you want to set. Also, if you're not following me on my other uh, Twitter there, go ahead and follow me, JB24Fit. So let's go ahead and check out some of the settings on Polis. So if we see here, it's very simple. All you got to do is select your application that you want to choose, that you want to be shown at the very bottom. So right now I have the camera, the clock, and a couple of other applications like Spotify, of course, and TweetBot. But you can go ahead and select different ones. So for example, let's choose Maps. And then going back, we have our arrange order. So we can go ahead and order by recently open. You can disable that or enable it. What that's gonna do is every time you open an application, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So you see there, it's in the order of what I've opened last. So you see there I opened TweetBot last and then Spotify and Calculator. So you can turn that on and off. I have that off. And then you can also rearrange these applications right here. So I have flashlight, clock, numerical, which is a calculator. And uh, we've got camera, Spotify, TweetBot, and Maps. So if I wanted to go ahead and put Maps in the very beginning and then Spotify here, all you gotta do is drag it, of course, and then you will see that the Maps, Spotify, we got Flashlight, and all that good stuff is right there. Now, if you do notice, you can actually tap on here and you can have different settings set for that individual application. So if you simply tap on the application, you can have it enabled to open just the application or you can actually add an activator action, which is pretty cool. So if you go ahead and select activator action, you'll be able to set an action. So this gives you a variety of options uh, from even just pausing a track, playing a track, or if you wanted to, I don't know, activate your shutter on your camera or just lock your device, you can do that straight from here. So I can show you real quick if I simply go ahead and hit on lock device. What that's gonna do, right now I have it set to tap. And, you, and if you see down here, I have tap and hold. So if I tap and hold, it'll actually open the application. So if I tap and hold this, it'll go ahead and open up the map application. But if I simply tap on it, just press it once, it's gonna go ahead and lock my device that you see there. So you can set different activator actions, which is pretty cool. Uh, we go back into settings here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open the app, leave it at that and then tap and hold, you can select something else if you wanted to. And then down here, select icon. So you can set different icons for those applications so it won't look all janky and stuff. Uh, so for example, I can do this Google Earth icon there as my maps uh, icon. So when you bring a control center, you will see that icon changes, which is pretty nice. It's a very well designed tweak and also it has very nice images. Uh, for different icons and stuff. So I really, really am a big fan of that. So if I go to Spotify, for example, I can go ahead and, I don't know, choose like, they have a lot of different icons here, as you see here. So these are gonna be all the icons. So I can even select like, for example, that there, and then it'll change the Spotify icon to just a music symbol. So you have many options to do with each individual application. If you just wanna tap on it and open it, or tap and hold and it'll do some different gesture. Like for example, on Spotify, you can do, I don't know, if you set an activator action, you can set it so you can play and pause a track or something. So instead, of, whenever you press it, of course, it's gonna open up the application. And if you go ahead and press it and hold it, 
it actually pauses it. Now you see there. So like I said, you can do a variety of things with this tweak here. Maybe even for Twitter or Tweetbot, which is an application. It's a Twitter alternative. You can do it so you can compose a new tweet. So if I go ahead and open up Tweetbot, as also if you notice, Tweetbot is not shown here. But you can simply scroll over to the right and then see all your other applications that you've added. We'll get into more detail on this here in a second. But if you simply tap and hold on this, you see that it composes a little Twitter uh, tweet or whatnot, as you see there. So you can set that to a variety of things, like I said. But if you do add more applications than just the five here, it will just simply be on the next page. So uh, we can go down here. And then you can also hide some applications just by dragging it down here. If you want to hide some of these apps if you don't want those. But right below that we have display. So as you see here I have it toggled all the way to the right. So the further to the right the more uh, icons will be displayed. But the further to the left, so for example I'll leave it there. You see it's only showing two. And then one right here. But if we go like right here it'll show four which is what normally it is. Uh, so if you want to do either one, two, three, four, five, or six icons. So it lets you only do a maximum of six. So you can also disable and enable paging. What that means is basically whenever you do have all these activated and you have, say for instance, you have several applications, go ahead and roll this up and then uh, it'll actually page these. But if we disable paging, you will see that you can just simply just scroll like this and it's not going to page those. So that's basically what paging is. Uh, but open to first page, you can also enable that or disable that. Basically, if we go ahead and disable that, we'll go here. You see Tweetbot's right here. And then it just won't go back to the page. So if you have several icons here, it'll stay wherever you left off uh, before you closed out Control Center or whatnot. And then we got also the option to do circle icons. So in the, if you don't like the square icons, you can make them circular. So I think this actually looks a little nicer. It looks like these toggles up here. So if you want to do that, you can do that as well. And also down here, you can go ahead and arrange the glyph packs. More glyph packs are available on Cydia. So if you want to download more of those, you can go ahead and do that. So that is basically Polis for you. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this tweak. I'm a real big fan of this. I think it's well designed and it's something I'll probably be using quite a bit. And I could see this definitely being on top tweaks of March. So stay tuned for that video. And also go ahead and stay tuned for future videos on future tweaks uh, because I'll be rolling those out in the next coming days. So go ahead and be sure to hit that like button if you did like this video. It not only helps me, but it supports the channel and it shows me that you like watching these individual city tweaks and I can do more if you are a fan. So just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and also, if you're not following me yet on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, or Instagram, all of the links will be down below. So go ahead and follow me on all of those, especially on Instagram and Twitter. I post a lot. I tweet a lot. Also, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss any of my future videos, any future tweaks. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And that's basically going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next video. All right?